All right. Hello and welcome. This is going to be our homework help video for the verbal expressions homework. So what we're doing in this homework is we're translating between what we call verbal expressions and what we call algebraic expressions. This is a verbal expression. It's the, the math written out in words. We want to take that and just represent it with variables and symbols. The keyword here, number one, is sum. That's telling me to add. So I want to turn this into an algebraic expression. I'm going to make this n plus 7. So I keep the n and the 7 in the same order. And then the word sum tells me that the operation in between them is a plus. For quotient, that tells us that we need to divide. So the quotient of 27 and x, I'm going to write it as a fraction with the 27 on top. Uh, our division should always be written with fraction lines now. 2 squared, this is a word that tells us uh, a specific exponent is being used, specifically a 2. So for it to be squared, the exponent has to be a 2. Uh, if it's not on here, cubed means it's a 3. So here number 10, 2 cubed would be to the power of 3. And then we can just say to the power of if we want to do a different number. Um, Let's see if we have any like that. No, I don't see any like that. And then the last option for an exponent is to say the blank power of. So the seventh power of n would be n to the power of 7 with the 7 up top. The w power of 6, so 6 to the power of w. Product, that's our word for multiplication. So this should be 9 times 6. Keep it in the same order. We put multiplication in between. Difference, that's our word for subtraction, so r minus 9 for number 7. And I think you can get the rest of those on your own. Let's look at the back side. Uh, another difference, we just saw that. The second power of, here we've got some that have is equal to. So r squared, we know that squared is our word to put a 2 in the exponent, is equal to, so we put an equal sign, 36. So it can either be is equal to or just the word is represents an equal sign. The difference of u and 16 is 5. So u minus 16 equals 5. So it goes a little bit out of order. Um, you know, difference comes before the two things that are being subtracted, but everything else is in the same order when we go to that algebraic expression. Uh, we'll just do 17 and 18 real quick. The sum of n and 12, so n plus 12 is 16. The quotient of k and 7 is 30. Uh, write each as a verbal expression. So there, in number 19, there's implied multiplication here. A number right next to a variable means that there's multiplication. This would be the product since it's multiplication of 3 and x. Here we've got division, so quotient. The quotient of 24 and 6. The sum of 2 and w, and this one is 7 squared. All right, that's that for this homework help video. Hope you have a good rest of your day.